It's Mariah Carey's season to shine. The glitter actress announced that she plans to make her memoir into a series. So we did the book and now I'm working with and we're getting it together because he is the greatest. My friend Lee Daniels, who did Precious and Empire, many, many in incredible projects, Monsters Ball. During an interview with Z100, the only one for Christmas is you singer, opened up about if she would ever consider going on Broadway, revealing that another project is actually at the top of her list. We're talking about the adaptation of my book. So wow. now that's first in line. I, I would rather do that. And that's why we wrote the book first, um, because I wanted it to be like, here's my story. No matter what happens to me, this is what we're, this is what we're interpreting. We're not just like making up like, oh, rise to fame, da 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 right. da. No, it's much more layered. It's much more deep. She explained that a potential plan is already in the works with the Oscar winning film producer. He and I are going back and forth about it, and he's probably going to hear this and kill me, but it's probably going to be um, an eight part series. But it's extremely important to me that the quality is like wow. top tier because everybody's doing this now. So we were going to take a different approach, and we still might. We're figuring it out. But he's, you know, he is. I need it to be gritty and grimy and beautiful and spectacular and real. So, you know, it's amazing. He's, He's the guy. But before uncovering the meaning of Mariah on screen, the 52-year-old has to make some Christmas magic. Mariah is releasing a new Christmas special for Apple TV Plus in December, which will feature her 10-year-old twins, Monroe and Moroccan. She recently gave Access Hollywood an update about her kids. Your daughter, she was in a campaign recently. Yes. Uh, give her any advice? Like, that's a big deal. It was a huge deal. And we, so... We walked up and down the driveway in Atlanta. We were we were just like, I was kind of trying to get the, the lines in her head so she didn't have to be worried about a prompter or whatever on set. And so we did it together over and over and kind of like the process I had learned when I first started doing different things with, you know, having to remember lines and whatever. And so it was for Oshkosh. And I think he kind of broke their record or something. Like the biggest thing, I was so proud of her. Uh, you should have seen me though. It was so stage mom. It was hilarious. Like she's there in front of the camera and I'm on the side going like giving ideas and stuff. And the director was super cool. He was like, okay, I'm getting you co-director credit on this. I'm like, no, I don't care. Like I really don't. It's just for her. And I love that. I like to let her be the star. You know what I mean? Like, let her win the moment. That's her moment. And I thought she killed it. And my son is incredible, too. He's, like, destined to be the next big YouTuber. I'm calling it now.